Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Krolik. I'm the leader for the American Solutions Architect team. Today, we'll talk about DLP for email. So we have just released a new deploy mode for our DLP for email. So it's a 100% SaaS-based connector that we integrate with Microsoft Exchange. And furthermore, in the future, we're going to integrate with Google Workspace as well. So let's get into it. First thing, I will talk about architecture. So pretty much, we're creating inbound connector and outbound connector and inside Exchange Online with our 4.1 data security for email. Then after that, we create Microsoft Exchange Online transfer rules. So what that does mean? The rules means that we're going to be using those two connectors for that email to have inspection. Therefore, we're able to manage all the DLP policies from a single place, from Force Point Security Manager. So if you have DLP endpoint and you want to expand DLP for email in this deployment mode offering, you, you are able to and able to extend the DLP policies there. So there are a couple options that we can do. We can either receive outbound emails from Exchange Online to us and send back to Exchange to do quarantine or manager's approval and leverage out the Exchange Online functionalities. Or we can also send to a next hop, a different email provider. So if you're doing encryption or if you're doing a couple other things, you're able to do that. So what I'll talk about, about during the demonstration, I will show the UI on how to configure. I will talk about Microsoft Exchange Online transfer rules. I will talk about how to create DLP policies for the DLP cloud email. And also the last one, but not least important, the user experience. So let's get into it. So the first thing I will talk about settings. When I'm setting up this, I will set up my domain, the domain I'm using. I will set up them returning to Microsoft in this case. In this case, I already have imported the public certificate and private key to validate that this domain is mine. And I will send to a smart host, which is my smart host for the exchange online. So that's pretty much what I need to configure inside the email security side. Then once I have that configured, I will have the rules. So I already have two connectors created. As I mentioned, I can have an inbound connector and an outbound connector. Those are the two connectors. So coming from Office 365 and coming from us to Office 365, and then I have a transfer rule. So that outbound transfer rule pretty much I'm sending all my emails to force point email uh, connector. With that, we're inspecting every single thing. We're expecting body of the email, we're expecting attachments, and then we can take remediation actions. So after that's done, uh, it's pretty much configured. I will show how I can create quickly and how I can create policies. So I already have a couple policies uh, configured over here. I will use as an example, a credit card number policy. If I click in this credit card number, pretty much if you already have our DLP solution uh, for the endpoint or for network, you're able to expand the same policy. So the conditions over here, I have that condition, severity in action, uh, which I can choose to block all. In this case, I'm block all and quarantine the email. And then who, who are the users I'm applying that policy to? And the last one, the destination. So the destination is pretty much network email. As I mentioned, you can use that policy for your DLP endpoint. You can use that policy for other channels as well. So once that is configured, nothing else I need to do. So let's go in the user experience uh, next. So I do have a, a user, James Smith, and I will send an email uh, to, to one of the users uh, in another domain, in a Gmail account. I have a bunch of credit card numbers over here. So I will click send, and I will send that. Once I do that, the email is being inspected by Forcepoint DLP. So regardless if you're accessing that from the browser base or from mobile device or any device, we are in a network level. So we are inspecting every single email, every single attachment, or also body, and we're able to see if it's violating any DLP policies. Once I do that, I'm able to see the incidents. So let's take a look in reporting perspective. I can see in reporting over here that I have an incident already. And that incident was generated based on the credit card number policy that I have. So if I click refresh here, I probably will see a uh, second incident. That was the incident that I just generated. So you can take a look over here. I can see they violated that DOP policy. And in this case, it was blocked. Uh, we're not 
we're dropping the, the, the email, the whole email, so we blocked, but we we're able to quarantine using Microsoft quarantine functionality, or we're able to do manager workflow, approval workflow using Microsoft Exchange Online functionalities. Also, I can see that my user received a notification from that incident saying that I mail message breach your organization emails DLP policy. So the user would be able to see the reason for that. So pretty much what you have seen, you haven't seen how to create a policy, you have seen the user experience and also the report in the incident were our new offering. So furthermore, coming in the next videos. Thanks so much for watching.